in legal definition news in the state of Ohio, a man took a leaf blower in such a brazen way it didn't legally qualify as burglary under Ohio law. So this is one of those weird esoteric things. This is basically what someone might think is a loophole. So what is burglary? Burglary typically by law is where you enter a dwelling with intent to commit a crime therein, usually typically a felony. That would often be theft, but it doesn't have to be theft, right? So technically burglary doesn't require a theft at all. It just requires you to commit some other crime. Typically theft, but not always, all right? So that's the normal definition of burglary. You enter a dwelling where a person lives, you enter it without permission, so that's trespass, and at the time you do it, you enter it with the intent to commit a crime, usually felony, right? So trespass plus intent. That's what burglary typically is. Well, Ohio had a slightly different definition, and this is where things get fun. So Ohio law, for it to be burglary, requires specifically that the person use force, stealth, or deception. Force, stealth, or deception. You have to do that for it to be burglary. Force, stealth, or deception. So what this particular person did didn't qualify because it was so brazen. So what happened, according to the court records, is that in September 2000, a guy was working on his property, right? He's out and about working on his house, doing whatever one does, you know, enjoying the weather, when he heard the muffler of a passing car. He went inside to get his cell phone for whatever reason, and when he came back outside, he made eye contact with the driver of the car. The driver of the car passed the home, but then turned around and parked on the road near the driveway. All right? So homeowners working out on his lawn or whatever, you know, maybe mowing the lawn or whatever he's doing, uh, you know, and he hears this car and he goes back in to get his cell phone for whatever reason. So then the car turns around, stops in front of the house. Then the owner of the car gets out of his car. He walks up the guy's driveway into the home's open garage. Okay. He just walks into the guy's garage. Then he takes a leaf blower and walks back to his car. Okay, so the guy just in the middle of the day, right, in the middle of the day, just gets out of his car, walks up the driveway, enters the open, open garage, takes a leaf blower, and walks back to his car. The homeowner, for his part, demands that, you know, he put down the leaf blower, but Instead, for whatever reason, the guy put it on his passenger seat and attempted to drive off. Then apparently the car had problems starting, which is also hilarious. So the homeowner was able to get several close-ups of the car and the driver. So we don't have any ambiguity about who this is, right? We, we were able to get many close-ups of the car and the person. So, and we filmed the entire thing or whatever. So all that stuff. So he was arrested and charged with burglary. He was convicted. The Court of Appeals affirmed the conviction, but the Ohio Supreme Court reverses unanimously, says that this isn't burglary. He says the, low, the Supreme Court says the lower court determined that he engaged in stealth and deception because he calm, calmly and silently walked up to, to the homeowner, but the Supreme Court says the evidence utterly fails to establish any sort of secret, sly, or clandestine conduct because he just walked up the driveway in the middle of the day with no attempts to hide himself or conceal himself and just walked up and took the thing. So the Supreme Court vacates the 8- to 12-year prison sentence and vacates a 491-day sentence for violating probation. And because the violation for the probation, for this specific probation, can only be imposed for committing a felony, and now it's not a felony anymore because the trespass isn't a felony, and the leaf blower apparently is of such low value that that's not a felony. So now it's not burglary. Now it's trespass and theft separately. And now separately, they are misdemeanors. 
So you can't violate his pro- parole. You can't violate his probation. And you can't send him to prison because it's not burglary. So because he didn't do it in a clandestine way or using force because of the way Ohio specifically wrote its burglary law. So that's fun and exciting. Thus, that brings us to the end of the case of the man who took a leaf blower so brazenly it didn't qualify as burglary because in Ohio specifically to be burglary, and this is a Ohio specific thing. So your mileage will vary substantially in your state. In Ohio specifically, for it to be burglary, it has to use force, stealth, or deception. And well, this guy didn't do any of those things. There was no force, there was no stealth, and there was no deception. He just walked up the driveway in broad daylight, walked into the guy's garage, and stole his leaf blower and walked out again. He wasn't trying to hide himself in any way. So... It's not legally burglary because of the way that Ohio wrote its law. So it's just trespass and just theft, which apparently are misdemeanors under this set of circumstances. So you can't violate his parole because to do that, it had to be a felony and it's not. And you can't sentence them to 12 years for burglary because it's not that either. So, well, that's a strange turn of events that turns on an Ohio specific law. And that for the moment brings us the end of attention of today's case.